And hello everybody. You know, one of the most common questions that I receive is, how do you get so much done? How do you have so much energy? How do you construct your day for peak efficiency? And so what I wanted to do is shoot a short video on how to obtain first and foremost massive energy. Now, massive energy is built upon a host of components or daily disciplines. We, we refer to, the, to, to all this type, of, this type of discussion as daily disciplines. And in my opinion, massive energy begins with the fuel that we charge up our body with. So what I want to do is spend a couple minutes right now showing you what I personally do on a daily basis once or twice every single day to guarantee that I don't have to jam any synthetic vitamins into my body. And by the way, any vitamin, even if it, even if it was cultured in yeast, um, and when it's cultured in yeast, they can, according to the FDA, call themselves a natural vitamin. It's not natural. It has synthetic chemical composition. This when you do the things that I'm going to show you how to do here, allows you to not have to feel like you need to jam synthetic cancer-causing vitamins into your body. So let's begin. So what I like to do is for, at the very least, breakfast and oftentimes lunch, is I like to have a smoothie. Now, the smoothie that I make is probably significantly different than what you're used to, right? So I'm going to start with the canister from a Vitamix. Now, there's a number of great pieces of equipment out there. I like my Vitamixes over there. And I've been using this thing for about a dozen years now. You can't kill it even if you tried. So what I start off with is, I'm going to make this for two people, okay? So Steve, who's taking this video right now, is going to be partaking with, partaking with me in this after we're done filming. So I'm going to put a little extra ingredients in here. So we're going to start off with about two and a half cups of filtered water, ultra-filtered water, not bottled water, which is cancer-causing uh, elements being leaked into it or leached into it from the bottom. We're talking about highly filtered uh, with a, with a fil filtered water with a filter in line. So we start off with the water first and then we typically will roll with uh, some protein powder. Now I don't like, I'm gluten free and whey free and I'm dairy free and have been for years and years so I use either a rice based protein or an egg based protein. This particular one and I always look for the organic products and raw whenever possible. This particular protein powder that I'm putting in right now is egg-based and is absolutely fantastic. Now the next thing I like to do is I like to start with organic broccoli. All the, all the vegetables that I put in my smoothies are always organic. And we put the whole thing in, even this ridiculous looking stalk goes right in there, okay? So we'll go ahead and break some of those off, put some of those in, so that we get high nutrient dense food. I'm also going to put some alfalfa sprouts in, which are of course organic. And so here are the alfalfa sprouts. These impart a very, very nice flavor as well as ample protein and they are nutrient dense. I like to frequently add sweet pea shoots as well. Sweet pea shoots give the smoothie, that's what they look like, yeah, we're going to put this in our bodies. <laughs> Give, they give the smoothie a very nice sweeter um, effect. I do not put sweeteners in smoothies, natural or synthetic. They don't need them when you make them correctly. The next thing we're going to add in is an organic blend. It's called a Zen blend. Now this particular blend has a number of products. It's organic baby spinach, organic Asian mustard leaves, baby kale, and organic chard. And I love this stuff. And so we're just going to go ahead and start dumping some of this in, and that's not enough since Steve is going to have some of so I'm going to grab another handful and we're going to jam that in there. Okay, so now we've got some serious greens in here. Now the next thing I like to add typically is organic coconut milk and so we're going to put not the vanilla coconut milk, regular coconut milk. You don't need extra sugar. So we're going to go ahead and pour some of that in here. There we go. Maybe just a little bit more. There we go. Now the next step on this is to simply put this on the Vitamix machine for about a minute so that it totally gets pulverized. Now the difference between this luncheon shake and a breakfast shake, and for the breakfast shake I'll also add in about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup for an individual serving of gluten-free oats, typically steel rolled, steel cut oats, and those allow, those allow it to, uh, um, when in a Vitamix, to to it'll totally get pulverized and it'll give it a great, absolute great slow burn as well as a great flavor. 
So this is what I do to begin the day, and in this case, this is a luncheon shake, to continue the day at absolute massive energy so I can accomplish more in a day than most people accomplish in two to three days, typically more than that. All this, all this is based on personal disciplines. We can either have reasons or we can have success. It's pretty impossible to have both reasons and success, sorry, reasons and excuses for, for a lack of success. It's impossible to have both. So you need to choose one. If you're going to choose lack of success or, or excuses, well then that's what you're going to have. You're going to have a life of mediocrity. If you're, if you're choosing to have success, then success depends upon you implementing and implanting, firmly entrenching daily personal disciplines into your life. This is what we teach at HealthSource. A whole list, a whole litany of personal disciplines. If you want success, personal discipline is an absolute must. Questions? Pop me off an email, give me a call at the corporate office, you've all got the number, I'll talk to you soon.